<laughs> Hello, good day. This is uh, Goat Wizard taking a look at No Moria. And uh, this is a like dwarf fortress like game that is currently available in early access on Steam. However, I don't really like early access for reasons that have been discussed all over YouTube. So I won't go into detail about that. But uh, this game is on version 0.9.1, so it's getting really close. Really close to getting a full release. But uh, I just jumped on the train to get this game uh, because I really like these sort of games. I played War Fortress a bit and uh, I found it very entertaining. However, the user interface was horrendous. This, this is much better. So uh, I'm gonna set up a new uh, kingdom here. The Venomous Decay. Now that doesn't sound very promising. Let's see. The Bold Kingdom. No. Uh, but let's just do this. Uh, the Goat Kingdom. There we go. And uh, I'll just have uh, normal settings uh, in the rest, like normal difficulty standard. You can go into advanced setup and set up some more details here if you like, but I'll, I'll just go with the standard for this tryout. So, uh, I played uh, a little bit before, a couple of hours, but I am I am a noob, to be honest. I, uh, I'm not very good at these games, and I, I usually have to go out on a picky to try and find some details on what to do next. Uh, you might also notice, if you own No Moria yourself, that I've disabled the in-game music, because I, I don't find it very good. I, I, I like some, uh, some more... Ah, try again. I like other media music than that, to be honest. Uh, so I've uh, started a soundtrack in the background with my, made by Bjorn Lynn. And uh, it's, uh, I think it's uh, a lot nicer than, uh, than the music that comes with the game. So, uh, well, let's take a look around the map. Uh, we have uh, oh, we have a quite a substantial mountain over there, mountain range, and we're starting here in the middle by a lake, and we have a small hill there, a lot of trees, a lot of uh, fruit trees here. That's nice, and a river-like canyon thingy here. Yeah, and another mountain over there. So I think that uh, looking over the resources here. We probably have an interest in setting up uh, some sort of area here in the middle to start with. Since we have a good, uh, good amount of forest, we have fresh water, we have uh, fruit trees over here. These are apple trees, yep. And uh, we also have some cotton and uh, wild uh, strawberries here. Yes, so um, I'm not going to record while I set up the basics. If you want to learn that, just go watch a tutorial video, because I, I there are plenty of those, and I, and I don't want to bore you with with the the like 20 to 30 minutes it takes me to set up the, the starting stuff. All right, so I'll, I'll be back later. All right, so I'm back, set up. and I've set up some of the basics. Um, I also uh, renamed the, the population that I start with here. I show some of the Team members of GOAT, and of course we have uh, Hodor and Melisandra, as well as Eddard Stark from uh, Game of Thrones, living in our gnome colony. I also uh, went ahead and lowered the music volume, I noticed that uh, it was a little bit loud. So uh, to just show you what I did here is the, the basic setup, I, I made a um, pasture here for the Jax that uh, I begin with. And I also made sure that the gnomes will clear this area of trees and all the other random stuff over here. So we're gonna have our farm area up here on the top. And there's also a dumping area space here for uh, for all the dirt that we'll be digging out of this little hill here. So I mapped out some digging to be done, some mining. Let's rotate that. And also let's um, get rid of this ramp here, remove ramp, yeah. So, uh, they're gonna dig in here and start uh, digging out this hill and we're gonna have a small guarding area here 
as well as uh, two different storage areas. We might need that storage for, for an example, raw wood logs that we uh, just cut down out here. It would be much easier for them to transport them just in here. And then we're gonna have a, a stair down area here. And I made it, uh, I made a little, little bit piece of corridor here just so we can set up some nice uh, stone doors to make sure that no enemies can break through at least immediately when when they break through <laughs> inevitably break through my guard room because i really suck at the military system in, in this game so uh, down here i have larger area so i'm gonna set up some workshops and storage areas over here here and here it's gonna be a large nice corridor we can actually uh, maybe get rid of this let's see uh, Set up some hotkeys, and there we go. It's gone. We're gonna have a nice little uh, living area down here. Uh, just for starters, they're only gonna get some uh, a dormitory, dormitory area right here. And then we're gonna have a great hall, or rather, just a place for them to go and eat. With a nice storage, just large storage area back here for food supplies and workshops related to that. This area, I'm not, I'm not certain what I'll put here. I'll probably have woodwork working and metal working and stone working in this area here. We also have another, of course, uh, entryway down into the mining area that will be here. So we're gonna go dig down to uh, minus five in depth start with. You don't want to go too deep because monsters will start to spawn in your tunnels if you don't have torches, just like in Minecraft. So uh, let's, uh, let's hit it and see what happens. Alright, saving. Go! Let's hit go! Alright, so we can to work here. Nice. Maybe the in-game sound is a little bit loud as well. I'm gonna have to uh, turn that down for the next episode. So, let's we'll see the gnomes start to get to work here, the miners will mine, the random dudes will take away the dirt, and of course the woodcutters will cut down wood, farmers will forage, and then they will set up this farm area here, which I have set to wheat, because we will need to get the wheat farm going so we can use some of the straw that you start with to make some straw beds for our gnomes instead of being just eaten up by these yaks. How, how do you pronounce that? Yak? Yak? I don't know. Who cares? So, they're digging away here. Very good. Just dirt so far. Very easy to dig through, so the miners won't get tired that easily. Uh, however, it's a little bit far for them to just run over here to dump all this dirt. So, a little trick I've learned so far is that if we set priority down on that one we can actually set up a small let's see uh, designate area stockpile we can set up a just a small area here and set it to uh, goods soil and that's only soil clamp so activate that put the priority up just to be certain that you use that and then they will yep here we go we're gonna start moving the soil over there and as you can see it's a shorter distance and I can just put a lot of it in a big pile. You can have 64 in total. I guess that's also inspired by Minecraft. Why is it 64? Is that some sort of... I don't know. Nerd thing that I don't know about? Ah, whatever. 64 bits? Something like that? Maybe it's easy to program or something. I, I don't know. Anyway, they're digging away here. Let's see uh, who's doing what. Uh, who's this? Can I... Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause to check who this is. This is Slotsky. Uh, she's, she's my, my wife, actually. So, uh, yeah. She's digging away there. And here we have uh, Hodo! Hodo. Hodo is mining. Doing some nice body labor there. Okay, so they're starting to clear this area out. And you see, these piles here that they're moving into here, uh, they can actually carry 64 at a time, so you don't have to uh, have to have your gnomes carry just one piece of soil at a time. So if we dissolve this, uh, or rather we remove this designated area after they filled it up, they're going to move 
piles out this way into the main dump area here. Then we're gonna move them 64 at a time if they fill it up properly. Right, so uh, let's see you still. We can speed it up a bit. Speed it up twice the speed. And you're just shipping away, shipping away, shipping away. So uh, yeah, one of the first things that we need is of course a basic, uh, basic crafting table or whatever it's called. And to make that, I know we also need some rock. Do we have any rock down here? Nope, not any rock at all. So. Let's uh, designate them to keep digging in that direction. Right, let's see. Come on. The sun has set. We still haven't managed to set up a dormitory area yet. So they'll probably start falling asleep all over the place for this first night, but who cares? It's it's no biggie. We'll just be a rather tired and wake up. Okay, so they cleared out uh, most of this area here. So uh, we have a we have some different uh, floors here. There's clay and there's dirt. You see, clay you can't farm on. So we're gonna have to uh, use, let's see, uh, not remove floor. We're gonna use build, terrain, and... No, not there either. Where the hell is it? Come on. Terrain. Replace floor. There we go. Soil floor. And then we'll simply just drag this out like that, and yeah, let's do it over here as well. So they're gonna go there, and they're going to replace- oh, they even replaced the- <laughs> interesting. Is that fixed now? Clay? No? What? Stop! That's not what I want at all! I want to replace four. Okay, maybe I'll have to choose dirt content. Yes! Very specific to this game. I guess that's that's good. So, uh, oh, did we did we make a floor there? That looks a little bit strange. I wonder if that's yeah. Okay, and uh, there's some clay over there as well that we want to get rid of. Good, because then we can use this whole area over here for farms, and we're going to need it. Trust me, these these little bastards they, they eat a lot. So, uh, they've actually managed to fill that area up, and as you see, they've cleaned out these rooms. And we're gonna remove designation. There we go. That means that they now have, look here, dirt pile, 64 out of 64. And they're going to move them out there. So to speed up this, of course, we could let them move these out first, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Gonna move them. And they also cleared out almost all of this. Good. Very good. So, now we'll designate a new area, stockpile, and we'll just put it uh, right about there. And do the same thing, set it up in priority, bam, go! Go my minions! Do God's work! Right, alright, so uh, let's set up terrain. Oh. Um, let's designate area, stockpile, and let's have an area here where they can dump some logs, goods, wood, and log. And we'll just have them dump logs there, and I guess we can do the same over here. We're gonna need a lot of logs, guys, so bear with me on this one. I mean, it's gonna be more efficient later when we get more uh, storage like these storage crates stuff. That we only stock with a couple of them. But uh, we need to get our crafting stations set up so we can start working on that. Alright. Let's see if they hit any rock. No rock! God, that sucks. Hmm. Maybe we'll just have to dig down further. Alright, so Kenneth falls asleep on the floor. Eddie as well. God, you guys. You're such slobs. Ugh. I've seen them do this in real life as well. I don't I don't know what's up with that. Seriously. Maybe maybe we could also take that area away. No, 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 That's stupid. Why did I do that? Oh, oh well. Because you see, that doesn't look good. Oh well. I just thought that this shape would be better, but huh. Whatever. So, we want to get this stuff inside as soon as possible so that 
no goblins or and stray monsters start picking away at our stuff. So we cleared all these areas out, so we might as well set up some stuff. Um, let's see what we have in these. I think most of it is food and drinks. Here we have the strawberry wine, so they can get drunk and be happy. And here we have strawberries. Yeah, most of this is food. There's also, I know, some loaves of wheat bread and I believe there's some armor in here. Yep, copper hammer, breastplate, helmet and bandages if we get hurt. So uh, let's set up an area to dump all this stuff in. This is of course the area where we want all the food stuff to go, so we're gonna have to designate area stockpile. There we go. And you see, I'm not covering all this area because I want to set up some workshops in these areas here. So let's just go into here. Goods and... Uh, come on. Um, drink and I know there's all kinds of drinks here we'll just let them take all that food as well all types of food let them dump it in there and there we go and now just to make make sure that they don't just take stuff out of these crates and transport the whole crates and the whole barrels so we'll designate let's see we have three barrels down there yep we're going to tell them to build storage crates. Any crate, we have three. We'll have them dump all those in there. And uh, build storage barrel. Any barrel, we have two. Let's just have them dump them there. There we go. It's gonna be perfect. Okay. So there you see, they're milling away, grabbing the crates. It's good. In these, I believe we have some seeds. Yeah, wheat seeds and strawberry seeds. And I've noticed when I played this before that you can pile up a lot of seeds in this game if you uh, if you don't have a proper storage area with a lot of bags. And actually, making these bags is a bit of a, a bit of a hassle. It's a later stage of your crafting. So we're gonna do like this. I usually like to make a specific area just for that. Let's see, terrain, remove ramp. We're gonna remove just a little piece of ramp there and then we're gonna dig in there. We're gonna have a huge area there. We can have both clippings from trees and we can have the seeds and so on. And you see, it's not that far for them to go to the farming area here and just grab some seeds or vice versa. They're gonna get seeds from these farms as well, and see, what a mess! Ah, oh, that is that is dreadfully ugly, but we can tell them to clean that up later. So, uh, okay, they've filled up this area, we're gonna remove the designation, so they will move those away. Wait, what is that? Why? It's not allowed to bring soil there, guys. Don't you dare bring soil there. Gonna have to bring it out there. Or quite possibly you could move it here. We're gonna set up another little soil area. I don't find priority, that's gonna be fine. We're going to start moving the soil there directly after we're done with the digging, hopefully. No? Guys? Where, where are you going? What? Oh, yeah, they're moving logs in. Good, good. Oh well, have we hit rock yet? No? God. I need I need one piece of rock to make the first first area. Guys. It's just uh Okay. Maybe we'll dig more then. Let's dig. Dig dig dig. Dig dig a hole. No, they're not digging a hole, they're digging digging straight forward, so. Um, okay, they've moved some strawberries in there. Sun is set once again. We still haven't set up those damn beds. Okay, let's rotate the screen and let's build some furniture, straw beds. We're gonna need a couple of these, but we don't want to use all of, of our straw because the yaks will need some to feed as well. Harvest from wheat farm. Um, hmm. So we can have uh, maybe. Let's set up one, two, three, four, five. 
five, six, seven. Let's have seven straw beds. I think that will do. We, we have a population of nine, but usually... Usually they don't all sleep at the same time, so I think that'll be fine for now. Oh, crap! Ah. Stop, 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 stop this. Stop this. We need to make designate area dormitory first. I almost forgot, almost screwed this up. Otherwise we wouldn't have a dormitory, we would just have straw beds at random and they wouldn't be as happy, I, I think. So let's, let's do that again. Build, furniture. Straw bed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see, when those are built, I can't actually designate the area underneath them, so they won't be included in the designation. For some strange reason, I don't know. Uh, it's a little bit quirky. Maybe they'll fix that for the for the release, or they'll keep it in just because screw us who play this, right? Uh let's see, they have okay, they cleared. Well, they dug out this area, but they're still moving soil out. Where are they moving? Oh, they're moving that soil, I guess. Okay. So, they, they built one straw bed. That's good. We're gonna build some more. We have two builders. Let's see, what are they named? That's Kenneth. Kenneth is uh, good. And Eddie. So, we have two from the GOAT team working away. Yeah, you, you work there. Come on, come on. Quicker. Come on. Come on, Eddie, you, you can you can do better than that. Gosh, what what a lazy bastard build. There we go. Alright, so um they start to clear this area out. Uh okay, so they Yeah, this was this was a stupid idea. I should have let them remove the dirt from in here before I set that area up. Because now they just took the piles of you see, 64 lumps of dirt moved it in there from in here that that's you have to think about that stuff I, I wasn't attentive enough sorry guys so uh let's see we have a lot of logs we have one farm setup we have jack posture pasture posture whatever I don't care they're moving the dirt out we're gonna set up a new area here stockpile and we're gonna tell them to put goods Plants and seeds and clippings we want in there. We don't want grain, we don't want straw. Straw we have out here by the jocks. We want to have seeds and clippings and mm, maybe body parts. No, no, screw body parts. We'll get that later. We get body parts, of course, from killing enemies, some enemies, and uh, well, killing enemies overall. And murdering your cattle. No, slaughtering it. There we go. So, I should be able to tell them to stop this stupid moving one seat at a time and build storage bag. We have two bags. We're gonna move both of them in there. I know there's maybe some other stuff in one of the bags, but I don't care right now. They're gonna sort that out later. So please just... Please, please move the bags, guys. Oh, they're just gonna take care of all these random seeds that were left out here from, I guess it was wild strawberries. Yeah, wild strawberry seeds. There's no difference between wild strawberry seeds and strawberry seeds, but you get the idea. Come on, guys, come on. Okay, can you move that damn bag? No? Anyone? You're just gonna slave away with one seed at a time? Okay, it's your choice. Gosh. Oh, at least this music is so good. Very nice for this game. Are you? Are you? Yeah, you're building. Good work, Kenneth. Come on, Eddie. Why are you so slow? Move quicker. I wish you could do that uh, dungeon keeper thing where you slap the workers. That would be amazing in this game. Okay, okay. So, they're almost done with taking all the seeds from here. Now we have a lot of cotton lying about. We're gonna have to sort that situation out as well. But finally, finally, is this Kenneth? Kenneth? Yes, this is Kenneth. Kenneth, you're doing a good job. Good job, Kenneth. You sure you're so lazy, but now, now I feel that you're a productive part of this team. Very, very good. Alright, so, uh, 
we're uh, probably gonna wrap this episode up. We've done some of the basic stuff. We've had Kenneth perform actual work. That's always something. And in the next episode, we'll of course find rocks somewhere if we haven't already. Nope, still no rock. We're probably gonna have to dig further down into the depths and strike gold or get monsters, something in that manner. So, uh, this has been Wizard and the first episode of Nomoria. You'll be welcome back to the Goat Kingdom in the next episode. Bye bye! Yeah! <laughs>